the megalodon, Odotus megalodon, has captivated scientists and the public as one of history's most formidable predators. Its size, long debated, is now better understood thanks to recent research by Victor Perez and his team at the Florida Museum of Natural History. Using updated methods, they found megalodon likely grew to around 60 feet, larger than earlier estimates. Teeth, often used to estimate its size, played a key role in this study. A classroom project reconstructing megalodon jaws revealed discrepancies in size estimates, prompting Perez to refine calculations using tooth width instead of height, offering a more accurate model of this ancient giant. The paleontological community welcomed the innovative methodology. Ronnie Michelton, who worked with Perez on the model, expressed surprise that it hadn't been considered before. Published in Paleontologia Electronica, Perez highlights this as an example of science's ongoing evolution. The findings not only revise our understanding of megalodon size but also provide fresh insights into its biology and ecological role. If megalodon was closer to 65 feet rather than 60, its energy and food needs were likely greater than previously thought. While its massive size made it a dominant predator, it also posed challenges, proving to be more of a hindrance than a benefit in nature. The megalodon needed an enormous amount of food to sustain its massive body and rapid muscle growth, requiring over 2,500 pounds of meat daily. Its diet, primarily consisting of turtles and seals, meant the shark was in a constant state of hunting. In times of scarcity, it might have resorted to eating its own young or taking significant risks to find food. The species often traveled great distances, increasing the likelihood of entering areas with insufficient prey. Seasonal changes and climate shifts further threatened its survival, forcing the megalodon to either migrate farther or face starvation, leaving the species highly vulnerable. The megalodon's bite force was extraordinary, widely considered one of the most powerful in the animal kingdom. Its immense force, combined with its massive size and formidable jaws, positioned it as an apex predator capable of taking down large marine animals, including whales. Research into the megalodon's bite force sheds light on the feeding habits of one of history's most fearsome predators and highlights the evolutionary traits that secured its dominance in ancient oceans. Unlike modern sharks, whose bones and cartilage often fossilize, the megalodon's skeletal remains are poorly preserved. Scientists rely primarily on its enormous teeth, some reaching up to 7 inches long, and comparisons with living shark species to estimate its bite force. Through advanced modeling techniques, paleontologists have reconstructed the megalodon's bite force using the dimensions and structure of its jaws and teeth, frequently comparing them to the great white shark, a close relative. In 2008, Dr. Stephen Rowe and his team at the University of New South Wales developed a widely recognized model for estimating megalodon's bite force. Using 3D computer simulations, they scaled the bite force of a great white shark to match the megalodon's colossal size. Their findings revealed that the megalodon could generate a bite force ranging from 24,000 to 40,000 pounds per square inch, depending on certain variables. For perspective, the bite force of a great white shark is around 4,000 pounds per square inch, a lion's is about 650 pounds per square inch, and even the mighty Tyrannosaurus rex is believed to have had a bite force of roughly 12,800 pounds per square inch. This comparison cements the megalodon's bite force as possibly the most powerful of any known predator, an unmatched feat in the natural world. The megalodon's incredible bite force stemmed from its powerful jaws, robust muscles, and uniquely adapted teeth. Unlike many predators, its jaws were exceptionally wide and thick, reinforced with strong muscles that maximized leverage and force during closure. The jaws housed up to 276 teeth arranged in multiple rows, ensuring the ability to deliver repeated bites even if some teeth were lost or damaged during hunting. These conical, serrated teeth were expertly designed to pierce and slice through tough flesh and bone with efficiency. Each tooth was broad and deeply rooted, providing exceptional stability and durability under intense pressure. Megalodon's jaw musculature was immensely developed, supported by strong tendons and ligaments that further enhanced its bite strength. Its broad, robust skull distributed force evenly across the jaw, enabling it to maintain a firm grip on prey. This structural advantage ensured that even the most resistant animal stood no chance of escape once caught. Megalodon's extraordinary bite force was vital for its survival, as it allowed this apex predator to target massive prey beyond the capability of most other hunters. Paleontological evidence indicates that its diet predominantly included marine mammals such as ancient whales, large fish, and even other sharks. The sheer size and strength of these prey required megalodon to combine a powerful bite with effective hunting techniques. By preying on large marine mammals, megalodon secured its position at the pinnacle of the oceanic food chain. 
Its formidable bite force was crucial for penetrating the thick blubber and bones of whales, a feat few other marine predators could achieve. Fossil records corroborate this, showing whale bones from the Miocene and Pliocene epochs marked with deep, parallel gouges and fractures matching megalodon's serrated teeth. This capability enabled the predator to subdue and consume its prey quickly, reducing energy draining struggles and ensuring its dominance in ancient marine ecosystems. The evolution of megalodon's bite force can be seen as a response to its shifting environment. As the oceans cooled and new species of marine mammals emerged, megalodon adapted to become an even more dominant predator. The growing size of marine mammals likely fueled the need for a stronger bite force, ensuring megalodon's continued supremacy in its ecosystem. Its jaw and teeth evolved to endure immense pressure, boosting its efficiency as a hunter. When compared to modern animals, the bite force of megalodon was unmatched. Today's largest sharks, such as the great white and tiger shark, fall far short of its power, as do all other marine creatures. The saltwater crocodile, renowned for its strong bite, has an estimated bite force of about 3,700 pounds per square inch, a feat impressive in its own right but still minuscule compared to that of megalodon. Even when measured against other prehistoric predators, megalodon's bite force remains formidable. The Tyrannosaurus rex, famous for its bone-crushing jaws, could inflict a powerful bite capable of shattering bones and tearing through prey. However, its bite strength would still be no match for megalodon's maximum potential. This discrepancy stems from their different prey and feeding habits. T-rex hunted on land, where gravity constrained its size and bite mechanics, while Megalodon thrived in the ocean, an environment that allowed for greater size and unique feeding adaptations. Megalodon's extraordinary bite force cemented its status as the apex predator of its time, leaving a profound impact on marine ecosystems. Its extinction approximately 3.6 million years ago opened ecological niches, enabling other marine predators to evolve and fill its role. With the absence of Megalodon, large whales, its primary prey, faced reduced predation pressure and likely evolved larger body sizes as a result. Megalodon's unmatched bite force allowed it to subdue and crush some of the ocean's most formidable prey. Megalodon, the apex predator of the ocean, hunted the largest prey, including prehistoric whales, with an arsenal of massive serrated teeth and a jaw capable of generating immense pressure. Its body was perfectly designed for hunting large marine mammals, using a combination of raw strength and tactical precision. The serrated teeth were ideal for slicing through thick flesh and shattering bones. Unlike modern sharks that often rely on repeated bites and tearing motions, Megalodon's bite force was powerful enough to deliver a single, devastating blow to a whale's rib cage or skull. With one powerful strike, it could break the bones of its prey, causing the rib cage to collapse, puncturing vital organs and immobilizing the whale. Megalodon's extremely wide jaws enabled it to take in large portions of prey, particularly younger or smaller whales. When it clamped down, it could grip and crush vast sections of its prey in seconds, inflicting catastrophic damage. Once secured, Megalodon would use its head and body strength to shake and thrash, further dismembering its target. This approach not only crushed bones but also enhanced the efficiency of its bite by generating additional tearing forces, inflicting maximum damage and swiftly immobilizing its prey. The sheer power of Megalodon's bite made it a predator unmatched in hunting abilities. Fossilized whale bones show deep gouges and fractures consistent with the crushing and tearing capabilities of megalodon's jaws. This predatory method allowed it to access nutrient-rich areas like the chest cavity and internal organs, which were crucial for sustaining energy. The ability to target vulnerable spots, such as the spine, head, and pectoral fins, was another advantage. A bite to the spine would sever nerves and paralyze the whale, while a strike to the skull would deliver fatal trauma. This strategic, powerful attack method allowed Megalodon to kill large whales with minimal energy expenditure, making it the most formidable shark to ever exist. Megalodon's immense size was not just for show, it was a key adaptation that solidified its position as the dominant force of the prehistoric oceans. This gigantic predator could take down large prey, such as early whales that were plentiful during the Miocene epoch. Sustaining such a massive body required energy from nutrient-rich prey, which Megalodon was uniquely equipped to hunt, no other predator could challenge it. Its size also provided natural protection, as there were no marine predators capable of confronting it directly. One of the most remarkable features of Megalodon was its bite force, one of the strongest in the animal kingdom. This powerful bite allowed it to exploit its environment like no other shark. Fossilized whale bones show deep, serrated impressions and fractures, pointing to the shark's ability to crush bone with ease. Megalodon's teeth, some reaching over 7 inches in length, were specifically designed for more than just piercing, 
they were built to slice, rip, and tear through flesh and bone. These wide, triangular teeth with sharp serrated edges could penetrate the thick blubber and meat of large marine mammals, giving Megalodon the energy it needed to support its massive body. Megalodon's hunting abilities were further enhanced by its strength and agility. Despite its size, it likely had bursts of speed, propelled by its powerful tail. This combination of speed and muscle mass made Megalodon an exceptionally versatile predator, capable of both ambushing and overpowering its prey. Beyond its physical prowess, Megalodon was unmatched in its predatory dominance. As an apex predator, it played a vital role in maintaining balance in marine ecosystems by regulating populations of large marine mammals. This in turn influenced the behavior, migration, and numbers of other species, fostering ecological stability. Smaller predators and scavengers would have relied on the remains of Megalodon's kills, underscoring its far-reaching impact on the entire food web. While modern sharks are formidable in their own right, none can match Megalodon's size, strength, or ecological influence. The great white shark, the largest living predatory shark today, is often compared to Megalodon but is much smaller and lacks the same bite force. Great whites primarily hunt smaller marine mammals, such as seals, and have evolved to thrive in an entirely different ecological role that lacks the imposing dominance Megalodon once had. Additionally, the abundance of large marine mammals that once fueled Megalodon's growth no longer exists in modern oceans, making it unlikely for any contemporary predator to evolve to that scale or have a similarly powerful bite. The environmental conditions that supported Megalodon's evolution and reign have disappeared, and no current shark has fully adapted to its ecological niche. The extinction of Megalodon, believed to have occurred about 3.6 million years ago, marked the end of a significant era in marine history. Its absence led to shifts in the populations and behaviors of other marine species.